barbell bench press. This is a very popular movement. We're gonna break down the technique so that you can move safely and lift lots of weight. So, our setup for setting up for the bench press, we sit back underneath the bar and we'll come backwards until my chest is underneath where the bar is. From here, I'm gonna set my grip. The grip should be so that when the bar is at your chest, that your hands are straight up and down, perpendicular to the floor, and they're not bent inwards or out. You want them to be straight. So I'm gonna set my hands. From here, I'm gonna pull on the bar a little bit so that I can get my shoulder blades, and I'm gonna squeeze them together. I'm gonna to keep my shoulder blades locked together the whole movement. So I'll get my grip, squeeze my shoulder blades. I'm gonna wiggle my feet in so that I can still have a point of contact on the floor and I drive my heels down and in. What that's gonna do is squeeze my glutes and extend my hips a little bit. It's gonna keep my whole body locked down. So from here, with my shoulder blades together, I'm gonna to come down to where my eyes are now under the bar. You can either get a spotter or sometimes there's those moving racks. But from here, I'm gonna bring the bar out over the top of my shoulders. And I'm gonna slightly go forwards as I come down so it gets to my chest and nipple line. And then I'm gonna push up. You'll see that I'm not cranking my wrists back excessively. I've just got them underneath the bar. I come down and slightly forwards. I push up and back. Control down and push up. So I'm going slow and then you can go fast on the way up. Don't let the bar drop because that momentum will actually make it a lot harder to get back up. So use the eccentric, control it. That way you've got more power on the way up and you're not having to fight against the heavy bar coming at you. <clears throat> with your feet, keep them squeezed down and in with your heels the whole time. If they're flat on the floor, that's fine. The idea is that they are on the floor. Um, as you get more flexible, you can bow up and back where you squeeze your shoulder blades and you'll notice to keep stability that my scapula aren't moving. Now they are, but I keep them locked back the whole time and that's how we're gonna press for a bench press. Other movements like dips and push-ups, you can move your shoulder blades as well and round this part. But for the bench press, we keep it locked back and down. Think about creating space between your neck and your shoulder and you try and keep that space created the whole time and squeezing your shoulder blades together. That's how we're gonna lower down for the movement and push back up. Then you can relax once you finish. That's a barbell bench press.